Okay, good morning. So today we are doing some leg training, 15 minute leg training and what I call three dimensional legs. So our body doesn't operate in one plane of motion. Uh, a lot of gym training happens here. It happens in what we call the sagittal plane, the forward and back or the up and down plane. But for truly uh, great muscles, strong muscles, the ability to move from one position to the other in life, whether that's sport, whether it's picking up your kids, whether it's rolling around on the floor playing, whether it is doing the cleaning and the housework, our body operates in multiple dimensions at once, forward and back, side to side, rotational, as well as up and down. So whether you're looking to just tone your muscles or to kind of bulletproof your body, you need to train three dimensionally. So that's what we're gonna do now with six exercises. So you will feel that the legs are working pretty hard in this. We're gonna get the heart rate up because we're gonna punch a cardio exercise next to a strength and balance exercise to really wind up the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, and even the calf and ankles three-dimensionally. We're gonna do a very quick minute long warm up. You need your loo roll or your target to be just on the floor in front of you and we are going to get ourselves going. So simply put your feet a little wider than hips and all we're gonna do is uh, squat down and reach to your loo roll or your target, whatever it is that you happen to be using. So a warm up only needs to be 10% of your total workout which means we're gonna warm up for a minute and a half. Start to alternate the hands and drop your shoulder in. So you're rotating through your trunk, peeling the shoulder back. Now we're gonna turn the toes in, carry that on so we get a little bit more movement and opening through the outside hips or the glute meads. And you're trying to keep your chest up as you do this. It's pretty easy to just fold from the trunk you wanna fold through the hips, knees and ankles. Turn the toes out, keep that going. So you should be starting to already just feel that you're getting nice and warm. Okay, we'll do a couple more. And then step back a little bit, or a lot. You're going to do a really long lunge and just reach down towards your towel. So really long lunge, as long as you can. So if I show you this way, I'm really trying to keep my back leg pretty straight and then fold over. Reason being, lengthening the muscle to its real maximum is actually one of the best ways of activating the glutes. So a lot of people talk about activation and a lot of people will do this in with those uh, booty loops or in a bridge. And while those may be very appropriate strength exercises, they don't activate anything in the glutes because the glutes uh, and all muscles have lots and lots of different proprioceptors, reactors, things that get excited when we move. Only one of all of them is activated in short range or the sagittal plane. So to get the rest, long range, extension, multiple planes. So last warm up one, take a night big lunge to the side, reach the inside hand down towards the target, so again, long range, frontal plane, exciting proprioceptors that will activate, wake up the muscle so it just has more bang for its buck. But let me tell you, if your glutes weren't activated, you would face plant, you would fall on your face, you would be walking like Bambi. So glute activation, not really a thing in my book. Last two. Okay, so here are your six exercises. First of all, you're gonna come off to one side so that your target's in the middle of the room. We're gonna do an L-shaped skater. So what you're gonna do is do a jump, tap your toilet roll with that hand. This leg's up or it can be down. You're then gonna turn to the side away. You'll leap back, touch, and you'll skate off to the side. So we're gonna do that 10 times nice and quick. Touch, turn, touch, away. Touch, turn, touch, away. So you're turning your back on your target, but you're always trying to get down to it. So I'm hovering my back leg. As I said, you could touch it down, keep it on the floor. You could make it more of a step. Or if you have the space, you could really challenge yourself 
with the jump. Cover more distance. Gonna do one more, and then we're not done with this right leg. I want you to cozy up behind your loo roll. You're going to lift this leg if you can. Do a single leg squat. Reach your left hand to the right side of the loo roll. Then your right hand to the left side of the loo roll. Keep that going for 10 reps. So we're still chaining the leg that was just doing the bulk of the work on that skater. Going to do four more. Again, try and get down through the hip. Keep the chest up. Two more. And then I need to immediately come over the other way to do my skater on the other side. So as far away as you can, leap, turn, leap, come back. So the reason we've got this target is to try and get you low. So this is not my stronger leg, but that's okay. It just means I'm a little slower in and out of this deep drop. Whoop. Try and get your hips around quickly. It's like you're trying to throw some sweat off of your hips. We're gonna do two more. And one more. And then immediately we'll cozy back up to our loo roll, stand on our left leg and go for that opposition reach for 10 reps. So down and up, down and up. Just reaching to the side, not behind, ah, to the side of your target and trying to get down through those hips. So we've got four more. Reach. And three. Whoop. And two. And last one. Okay, very good. So that's one cardio, one strength. Our next cardio or jump is coming up. I want you to back up from your loo roll. You're going to take a jump, a long jump to the side of your loo roll, touch with the inside hand and back on the same side. So we need to work the right leg. You're gonna to travel to the right side of your loo roll. So jump, reach down, come back and keep that going. Try and jump back as far as you jump forwards because otherwise you start to run out of room. So again, getting nice and low, but keeping the chest up and that nice, tall, strong spine. Last two, I kind of tuck my back leg in behind. You could let it touch down. Okay, now immediately step to the side. You're gonna put your left foot behind the toilet roll. You're gonna spin your feet out and you're kind of in a wide plie type position or warrior squat type position. You're gonna squat down, your right hand is gonna aim for your toilet roll. Your left hand is gonna go overhead like so. So you squat and you try and reach across. So you're side tilting, you're trying to bring your right ear towards your right knee. Now this width lets us get nice and low. So you're getting deep in the hip, but what you should feel is your right butt is doing more work. Now push this arm away, reach. Last two. And one, no rest for the weary. Let's do this on the other side. So we're now leaping onto our left leg. Back right up. Leap and tap, spring back. So what do you need? Do you need to hover your foot? Do you need to bring it in and just tuck it in behind you? So you can really make this as hard as you like by simply jumping bigger, dropping lower. Four more. And two more. And then guess what? We're going straight into that wide squat. So right leg directly behind your loo roll. Left leg off to the side. We're gonna reach with this hand, stretch with this one. So left ear to left knee. Right arm, you're trying to get your bicep to kiss your cheek. 
So again, you're now winding up that left glute a little bit more. Make sure your toes are turned out. That's gonna give you that leverage to get low. Last two. And one. Okay, I'm breaking a sweat. I hope you are too. Exercise five, we're back to cardio. Behind your toilet roll. Turn your feet out. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna drop, you're gonna jump and reach as high as you can. As you land, you're gonna toe in. You'll do that again as you land your toe out. So it looks like this. Drop, touch, jump, land, toe in. Jump, land, toe out. So think of a high vertical jump. Push off using the ball of your foot. And keep turning those feet in and out. And you'll notice it feels different depending where the feet are. For those of you who did hit my 27 squats last week, you'll know why we're doing this. Let's do five more. Can you jump higher? And one. Okay. So that was equal through the legs. We're gonna unequal it again. Go to the side, directly to the side of your toilet roll. I want you to take your left leg behind you, so it's crossed. Uh, let me move that a little so you can see better. You're going to then curtsy down, getting as low as you can and reach your right hand. So most of your weight's on your right leg, your right hand is going to come across to touch that toilet roll. If this is easy, step further away and make it more challenging to get that loo roll. We're gonna do 10. Now pull your hand back, wind yourself up. So we're adding some rotation on the way up too. If you need less, you could bring the foot back behind you or you could just step a little bit closer. One more. We're going back to our jumps. So, reset, feet out, let's go. 15, 14, 13, low in the hips, then push. Last 10, nine, maybe reach up, maybe make it bigger. Six, five, push. One more. Okay, right away, left leg to the side. How far away? Up to you, remember, further, harder. Swing that right leg behind, rotate your hips to the front. This hand, aims for your target. Look where my back leg goes to. It actually kind of slides past the outside of my shin. I'm really winding up this hip, this glute, in the transverse plane here. Maximum recruitment, whether you just want to be strong to do life or you want to grow good glutes. Five more. Four, push through your whole foot, make sure you're not buckling. You've got four edges of your foot, push into every corner. One more. Oh, good. You can get rid of that. We are all done. Just want to do a couple of stretches. Take a step back, rotate towards the front leg. So we're just going to get our breathing back a little bit. How was that? I hope you uh, felt your legs. I hope you got your heart rate up. Any of those with a jump, you know, you can take the jump out and just step or just squat up and down, turning your feet in and out. Okay, grab your shoelaces or your toes of one leg. Little quad stretch. So it's quite chilly out right now, but hopefully it'll get a bit warmer by the time I go out and do my walk later. Other side. So I try and go out and walk for about an hour a day if I can. And then I'll try and train for about an hour as well. So I'm getting both in. Bring the left leg up and over, cross the foot, sit down, hold on to something if you need, open through the hip. 
I'm like sweaty. I hope you are too. <laughs> hope you did that before your morning shower. Just finish with a little hamstring so step back a little tiny step reach across to the outside of the foot lean the body over hopefully your heart rate's just about back to normal we'll just do one more and that's you all done Woo. so pop any comments you've got in to the box let me know how you got on if you needed to modify it if you enjoyed it and what you might want tomorrow if you've got any requests and have a great day bye